So since we've talked about why you should be using press, now we're going to find out how to use it. And more specifically, how to add text to your slides. So normally when you um, open up a new document, when you create a document, it's going to be something like that. There is one slide in it and the first slide looks like this. Um, so you've got click to add title. So if we just click here and we are going to um, give a title to our presentation and then this is a subtitle or um, whatever like that and you can add your your name and and whatever so now you're going to create a new slide so right click new slide and it's going to add a slide just after the slide um, you have picked to right click so if I right click here it's going to add it just after the 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 first slide so it's not going to add it at the end of of all slides so we're here and let's say winter and then you see you've got two um text fields the first one is for the title and the second one is for text or for other stuff we're going to see later so if you want to have two columns and not just one so first of all click to add text it's like something like that then enter to go to the second bullet the or second item and third and fourth and so uh, if you want to have it in two different columns instead of creating by hand a new text field and going like that so I have to select the text field and then uh, you go you're gonna see like you know the, the line like here and then I, I should be doing something like that and then create a new text field like that so that takes a lot of time so um so let's do it like that okay undo undo and you get, there you go so uh there is a function in impress that does it for us so if you go let's say this doesn't exist you go um something like here you can go um it's the same thing the same path you can go uh, slideshow custom animation and it opens up this task pane and if you go to um, layouts you see this is a like an accordion um, so you can choose uh, different panes and I just hover my mouse over each um, layout you got blank slide title si slide this is the one we have chosen or has been chosen for us in the beginning title content and then you've got title and two contents you've got the preview so you can go like that so you can see it's really really fast and easy if for any reason you need um, a, another text field as I said you're gonna find it here text and you just uh, click left click and then you slide or you drag and you can write whatever you want as you see the problem with that is that um, it's not the same format as the other two text fields so you have to um, modify it by hand but just in case you need one you know where to find it and again I'm not I'm going to repeat myself but I need to uh, do not try to modify it by hand the whole thing like yeah, oh, it's going to be italic and all that, blah, 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 because there is a way to do it um, all at once. So um, you can modify all titles of all slides um, in the same manner, just with a few clicks instead of doing it slide by slide. Same thing for the content, of course, for the text. In the next videos, we're going to find out how to um, insert tables and graphics and video and audio files.